Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ellie Witch Lady and today I'm going to be showing you how I do an Imolk ritual and spell um, and I'm also going to be talking a little bit about Imolk and doing a, just a little introduction to it to uh, get you started. So yeah, without any further ado, I shall just get straight on with that and thanks very much for watching. So Imolk marks the new beginnings of spring. So, you know, if you look out in your garden or anything like that, you might see the very beginnings, the first little shoots and leaves coming up through the ground. And the first flower that I love seeing are snowdrops. I just think they're so pretty, so beautiful. And if I can get as many pictures of them as I can, I will. But yeah, so it's basically, it marks new beginnings and longer days are coming basically so and that's what we all want we all need a bit more sunshine and nice longer hopefully sunnier days Imolk is a sabbat that's associated with that's easy for me to say is associated with fertility and it is also associated with newborn lambs and Imolk also basically means in the belly. This time of year, there's a lot of uh, pregnant animals, you know, animals carrying babies. And where my snakes are concerned, breeding season will be coming up soon. So the boys will be glass surfing and looking for the females and all the rest of it. So uh, yeah, so as I say, breeding season is around the corner for a lot of animals if they're not already pregnant so it's a time for beginnings and a fresh start and just for you to basically think about the year ahead and you know set some good intentions and hopefully you will see them grow and uh, come to fruition so uh, i'm as i say i'm going to be doing a spell i will be doing a protection spell within my imolk ritual so as i say you'll see that a bit later a last little fact is that Imolk is known as Brigid's Day, I think that's how you pronounce it, and she's a Celtic goddess. And uh, she is revered at this time of year She's because she's seen as a goddess that has brought fertility to the land, you know, to the world and also to people as well so um so yeah so a lot of people do celebrate and worship her as well at this time of year um she's sort of the main one that a lot of pagans sort of look to as well so uh, yes and also uh imolk one last little fact is that it is also known as candle mass so um there's a lot of people that will do candle magic at this time of year and that's my favorite kind of magic so i will be um as i say my spell that i'm doing it will be a candle magic spell for protection um and basically positivity hopefully all year round but uh, yeah so <laughs> anyway without any further ado i shall just get straight on with the ritual and yeah i hope you enjoy it thanks for watching So the herbs I'm going to be selecting are basil, it's got protection on there as well so that's perfect, rosemary, so there we go. These are going to be my two herbs that I'm going to use. I'm going to use this uh, amethyst as part of my ritual as well. So you know I always keep these uh, crystals on my altar. And I'm just going to add this one here as well. So I have water in this big chalice. Water in this goblet is what I shall be drinking um, throughout my ritual. I'm asking for protection from the goddess and the god. I'm adding rosemary for protection. And basil for protection. I'm going to carve on this white candle my intentions for the year. And I'm going to start from the bottom writing and go up to the wick.
and obviously I'm using my Athame to do that as it's sharp. <laughs> so this says protection, health and joy. Now I'm just going to burn the end and pop that in there. Now I'm going to meditate upon this candle. Now I say to the goddess and the god, even though we're still in winter, there is new life stirring in the darkness. I call in the light and the fire of the glowing sun. I call on its power to spark new life deep in the dark. Like fire, wisdom, inspiration and new life will always grow, just like the first spring flowers stirring in the dark. I call on this flame to cleanse and purify me as I move into the, the time of new life coming manifest. Fire of the hearth, blaze of the sun, fill me in your shining light. Please protect in the name of the goddess and the god. Please bring health in the name of the goddess and the god. And please bring joy in the name of the goddess and the god. I will let this candle burn down, but I will put out the other candles for now. And I will also have a ritualistic drink and something to eat. Thank you for protection. Thank you to the God. And thank you to the Goddess. As long as the candle is burning, I shall have this crystal with me for protection, health and joy. So I don't have anything really dairy, but I have some chocolate, some milka. That's as close as I can get today. I thank the goddess and the god for being with me and for protecting me and keeping me safe. Please also protect all my loved ones with a brilliant bright white light of protection, protecting us all from negativity, harm and evil. In the name of the goddess and the god. so that's my ritual that's how I practice now I don't have a massive amount of space to move around in here so some people might think that what I do isn't quite right or whatever but this is the way I practice I used to be able to move around a lot more in places that I've lived in the past but in here I've obviously got quite a, you know a fair bit of stuff so anyway um yeah so that's my Imolk ritual that's that done and um you know i do things a little bit differently but it suits me and um you know you can do it however you want as well i'm hoping i've got chocolate around my face that's all i could find because imolk is um connected with dairy products obviously um as i said before it's connected with sheep and lamb and you know uh sheep 
will, well, the ewes will produce milk for the lamb. So it's very sort of dairy milk related and anything that's sort of um, like white, anything with white flowers, that kind of thing. It's just that time of year. And a lot of times we do get snow at this time of year, but um, this year, not so much. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's, that's how I practice. You know, I ask the goddess and the god to be with me. Um, and protect me and then I thank them for being with me and protecting me throughout my rituals it's, it's in with the good and out with the bad so anyway if you did enjoy this video then please like and subscribe and when you do subscribe please hit that bell notification so you get notifications of all my latest videos and if you have any comments or questions then just pop them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to answer them but for now, it is goodbye and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks very much for watching.